Are you thinking about using a drone for your farm? We've got lots of info, don't go anywhere. everybody, David Plummer here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. If you love drones and the ways they are changing the world, you've come to the right place, so make sure you hit like and subscribe. Today, we're talking about the best ways for you to use a drone on your farm. Here we go. First up is scouting your field using a drone. That sounds like a natural, right? Well, it is because there are all sorts of drones that you can get to scout your field. Now, DJI drones, for instance, can go sometimes up to like five miles away from the remote control really, really impressive, but the thing you gotta remember is you gotta keep it within line of sight. So theoretically, you could check your back 10 from your front five pretty easily, or if, even if you've got a bigger farm, obviously you can do that. Now, using drones like the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Zoom, that one's got a six time zoom range on it, so you're getting really good value for the price. That is kind of our bottom level, introductory level drone. It's a great drone that has a six time zoom on it, so it comes in really handy on the farm, really easy to deploy. Now, if you're a bigger operation looking to cover more ground and looking for higher quality imagery, you're gonna look at the Matrice 200 series. This is the version two series, uh, and these drones have the capability of putting like a 30 times optical zoom lens on it. Now think about that, 30 times optical zoom, that's gonna get you right into your crops. You're gonna be able to see the color of the plant, it's gonna give you a lot of information without ever having to like walk out into the middle of the field, risking yours or your employee's safety while you're trying to walk through a bumpy land. So a lot of benefits to using a drone for scouting. Let's go on to number two. Next up is mapping. Now mapping covers a wide range of things, a wide range of sensors. You can do 3D modeling with like an RGB, just like a regular camera sensor. Now this comes in really handy when you're trying to check the terrain of your maps. You're wanting to see how the land is changing over time. If you use like a Phantom 4 RTK, that's gonna give you centimeter level accuracy on your maps, on your 3D maps and your regular 2D maps as well. So this is a really great tool, especially when you pair it with something like DJI Terra or Drone Deploy or Pix4D. These are great programs. Now you can also use other drones aside from like quadcopters. You can use fixed wing drones as well. There are a lot of companies out there that have fixed wings that can cover much larger areas. You're talking hundreds of acres of farmland they can cover in a single flight. So this might be an option for you too. You can do mapping with multi-spectral cameras too and we're starting to get into that now, but that leads into our third use for a drone on your farm and that's checking the plant health. So you can check plant health with a wide variety of different sensors on a drone. From RGB, you can actually see the true color of the plant, uh, to using multispectral, where you're gonna be able to see if a certain area of your field needs water, or if a certain section of your field needs fertilizer. So it's gonna save you some time, it's gonna save you some money, and it's a great way to check the health of your plants. Next up is livestock management. Now there are already companies out there that are allowing you to put beacons and GPS tracking devices on your cattle so that you can keep track of them at all time. This is a really great use for a drone. Now there's a company in Australia that's actually using a DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Zoom uh, with a speaker on top. They recorded a dog's bark into that speaker and they're using the drone to actually herd the cattle around. Uh, they're helping the dog. Basically it's an aid to the dog in helping them herd the cattle. So this is a really ingenious way to use it, really creative way to use it, uh, but it's one way for you to think about using a drone on your farm. And finally, we wanna talk about spreading and spraying. So drones like the DJI Agrass series, they can spray and spread up to seven to 10 acres an hour. Uh, these are really great drones and the technology just keeps getting better and better. It allows you to spray and spread autonomously. You set up a map and you hit fly. All you gotta do is be there to refill the battery and refill the pesticide or the seed. Now, from what we hear, DJI's newest agricultural drone, the T-16, is gonna be available at some point in the near future here in the United States. We're interested in this one too. It can cover a lot more ground and we think some larger companies are gonna be interested in this one as well. But spraying and spreading, you can do it with a drone, folks. Whether you have a huge farm where you just have spots that are really hard to hit with a crop duster, or you have a smaller farm, say you've got a five acre farm that you wanna use a drone solely to spray and spread seed, you can do that. So spraying and spreading is gonna be a really powerful tool for farmers in the years to come. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe and I've probably forgotten something. I'm sure that you guys are using a drone on your farm for things that I haven't even thought about yet. If that's the case, make sure you let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.